you might already be missing this and I'm excited to do this video once again. Hi guys, I'm Rai and welcome back to TOT where we talk all tea and a little bit of shade on tech, trends, travel, and taste. So in this video, we will do our third scent mukbang. I have four masculine fragrances in this video na isi scent mukbang natin. Our first fragrance natin is a fragrance from DNG and it's called Light Blue Forever. It's a flanker variant from the DNG Light Blue line. And we all know naman how popular and well preferred or accepted ang direction ng DNG Light Blue for men. But this time around, let's look at the flanker variant nito. Guys, if you really want to buy this, you need to buy this now kasi it's limited edition. Nag-amoy na ako kanina and nag-dip na rin ako nung fragrance strip para mabigay ko rin sa inyo yung description nung bottom notes niya or the fragrance notes that stay on your skin. Hmm, yung first sniff ko is giving me the grapefruit citrus note coupled with marine or ozonic notes. So, these two are actually the signature scent of DNG Light Blue that we so much love. And I think the woody notes that are coming from here is the vetiver and the patchouli woody notes. Kaya siguro forever kasi they put a lot of those heavy notes which will improve the long-lastingness of this fragrance. So guys, my forever with the NG Light Blue. And since you put some woody notes, it's becoming a lot more sophisticated, I would say. It's not losing its signature fresh scent. Picture yourself by the sea, pero nakahiga kayo sa damuhan with a little bit of flowers on the side and a really good sunshine. Natuwa ako dun sa woody note approach. I'm expecting the woody note will make it less fresh. But actually, it complemented well the citrusy note and allowed to soften that, that citrus note that could have been harsh. Mm, ang ganda ng base notes niya. I can really get the vetiver notes and the patchouli notes. Sobra, parang sweet wood. It's like, you know, a young executive who's made it really good and made it so successful in his job and his career, but still keeping that playful, fresh citrus uh, young note. Next one is Savage Elixir EDP from Christian Dior. Wow. I'm a Sauvage user, the one that was launched in 2018, which is um, heavy on citrus, heavy on woody. Pag amoy mo, it's, it still has that signature scent from Sauvage, but it's heavier on woods and a lot more on spicy notes. It welcomes you with a burst of citrus spicy notes. Ang ganda ng how those notes complement the aromatic lavender note. Imagine yourself with spicy notes of cardamom, uh, ano pa bang spicy note dito? Nutmeg, medyo may Christmas actually. The lavender note complementing with those three notes. So parang meron siyang freshness burst. And that sweet note is actually coming from an ambery base with a lot of woody notes then eh. I think it's it's sandalwood and again vetiver ha vetiver There's that spicy note there eh? pero it's a little bit far na from the Savage of 2018 I think the sweetness lang yung uh, signature scent coming from that one the spiciness it kind of altered a little bit the direction of this Christian Dior fragrance I like it kayo ba gusto niyo na spicy notes sa inyong fragrance. Comment down below nga kung ano yung klase ng spicy note na gusto nyo sa isang kabang. Now we turn into the base note. 
Yeah, it's a whole lot of Betty Blur and sandalwood. And sweet. Nawala na yung spice note, but it's still there, pero nawala na. It's a bit balsamic, yung, ano ba yung balsamic? Um, not yung vinegar, ha? hindi maasin, but it's the sweetness that you would get typically from a liquor like scotch or rum. I know it's not just mapait, but if you really look down, you'll get that um, oak barrel. Di ba ang wine in Asia sa isang oak barrel? So it's assimilating some of the taste and the smell of the barrel or of that wood. No? And that's basically what a balsam is. Tapos pa-enhance mo yung tamis and that's what you get. I like this one, but I'm sorry, but I like the the Sauvage 2018 version more than this Flanker Violet. Maybe I'll use this at, at night. Hindi ko siya gagamitin sa araw. It's, kasi hindi nako complement well sa akin yung spicy note. For special occasion, definitely very suit and tie event. Oh, yun lang masasabi ko yan. Now we go to Luna Rosa Ocean from Prada. Mm -hmm. First sniff, I get, you'll be surprised, but I'm getting the leather notes. Wow! Mm, it's so sensual. Although, of course, you get the citrus uh, and a little bit spicy like saffron. Mm. Sobrang interesting ng leather note niya. Kasi, leather siyempre sapatos, no? But, what it gives you is that sensuality in a fragrance. It's like skin. Mmm, ganda. There's a little bit of femininity in this fragrance kasi parang ginamitan ito ng Oris flower. Oris basically gives a fragrance that creamy, floral note na parang very caring, very cocooning, parang ang sarap-sarap niyang suotin. However, to make it a bit more masculine, I'm getting the aromatic lavender and sage. Tapos yung citrus note, parang nandun lang yun, to lighten up the entire blend. Kasi kung hindi mo siya lalagyan ng citrus, it's gonna, it's gonna be too heavy and you will, you will have difficulty smelling it. And there's that woody note again. Hmm. Vetiver. There's vetiver once again. Personally, I'm not a fan of leather note. Hindi rin siya bagay sa akin. One of those notes na hindi bagay sa akin. Um, it makes me maasim. I would say may babagayan to na personality. Someone who's very, I would say, mysterious or pa-mysterious effect. And if you want to generate that kind of addicting... If I'm so addicted to smelling it, parang ganun yung dating ng fragrance na to. Now, let's smell the dry down. Okay, the dry down is more of the vetiver again. So, I'm getting uh, that woody note. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the leather anymore from the... Yeah, I'm not getting the leather anymore. In fact, I'm getting a lot of freshness. Almost ozonic freshness, but it's not. This is a very uniquely created and designed fragrance. You know why? Because it's giving me contrasting notes. On the one hand, you have those fresh, citrus, aromatic, spicy notes. You have those lavender and sage. And on the other hand, you're putting in leather, those heavy woods. For a masculine fragrance, I've always been bored. <laughs> personally on masculine fragrances kasi nga halos pare-pareho na lang sila ng direction. I appreciate the leather notes, I appreciate the oris that is being used in this uh, fragrance but not for me. Para feeling ko I will use it to just layer on a fragrance so what I would do is I'll put one spray of that fragrance tapos I'll put two or three spray of the fragrance na gusto ko yun yung maging dominant smell ko for the night or for the day. So parang just to give a little bit twist into the fragrance that I'm using. Last but not the least is Explorer Ultra Blue. It opens with a whole lot of citrus notes. Um, citrus and marine notes. And it's giving me a dng like blue vibe. Yeah, and the citrus is coming from bergamot. Yung parang mga Italian bergamot. And most of the bergamot notes or ingredients are taken from Italy. 
Yeah, this is a typical masculine fragrance. Sobrang wala na rito yung Explorer Mont Blanc. This is your typical masculine fragrance. You know, you have that citrus marine and woody notes all rolled into one. Very fresh and very market preferred. But will I buy this? Maybe not. Kasi it's not sulit. I'd probably buy Luna Rosa Ocean. It's also giving me that sweet woody note. Mm -hmm. Because it also has vetiver. Now let's smell the dry down. Wala na ako na amoy. Sobrang faint smell of vetiver na lang siya. And in this type of climate, I really highly recommend this fragrance. Trendler! Common notes across four fragrances for male. Vetiver. So yung vetiver kasi it's actually a plant. Para siyang kamag-anak. Well, itsura-wise, kamag-anak niya yung lemongrass, tanglad, or citronella, or... Talahid. The vetiver essential oil is extracted from the roots. Oh, so, galing siya sa ugat ng vetiver. And it's giving you that sweet woody note. Yung sweet, ambery, a little bit balsamic. It's normally found on the base note kasi it enhances the long-lastingness. And it gives you that sensual character. The woody raw materials are very much used in the world of fragrances. And you will get high levels of woody notes mostly in the masculine fragrances because it's giving it that heaviness and masculinity. I hope you got some good information from this scent mukbang. I hope to see you on the next video. Makita kita tayo ulit ha. Maraming salamat. Please stay safe and bye.